Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building a new character. And I'm sure you've seen by the title and the thumbnail, that character is going to be Razor. I've been looking forward to this video because I've been wanting to upgrade Razor for a long time now. I just haven't had the materials to do so and today we finally have them. So now we're going to upgrade our boy. Without further ado, let's get in to the video. Now I've neglected Razor for a long time, but today that changes. We've pre-grinded some materials and I still have a little bit more to get for our guy Razor. As you will see here, he is currently level 60, but a majority of my characters on my account are level 80. Level 60 ain't gonna cut it, so we're gonna need to get him even higher than that. His current weapon is some level 1 male flower. This needs to change too. He has no artifacts. Uh, he is C6, I just happened to get him a lot. Not much else to that. And then his talents are 155. Not the greatest razor ever, but we're gonna change that today. First thing we need to do is grind some boss materials for him. Now, I have pre-grinded a tiny little bit for him. You'll see here that I actually have a current 12 of the lightning prisms, but in order to upgrade him to the max, we are gonna need 20 of those. So let's head over and kill that boss. This boss is one of the first ones we ever see in Genshin Impact, and in fact, it also happens to be one of the easiest bosses in the game. There's not much to this boss. You guys will see here that I'm gonna complete this boss in a mere 30 seconds. Time starts now. Go into the next phase, please don't make me look dumb. Oh, come on. Oh, dodge, 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 and bang, and you're dead. Oh shoot, no, 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 surely I get him. Oh, come on, I missed the first phase, look how close it is. Well, there goes my 30 seconds. Bop. All right, now we just gotta get rid of these. One electric prism, two prisms, three prisms, and you die. Please give me three. Shoot, I got two. No, whatever. Well, now we gotta wait a little while for that boss to respawn. So in the meantime, Razor needs a really annoying maw material. And that is the mass, which you get from the Hillichurls, which are such an annoying material to grind. You would think they wouldn't be annoying because they're dropped by Hillichurls and there's like plenty full of those. However, it is the exact opposite. They are extremely annoying because there's no guaranteed drop for them. Now I have pre-grinded quite a bit here. This took me hours to do. So why don't we go start on our Hilly Churl grind. Alrighty, I've exterminated every last Hilly Churl on the map and hopefully that's enough because I don't feel like grinding more Hilly Churls. Alrighty, now that we are done grinding all our Hilly Churl mass, the next thing we would usually have to do is start grinding those wolf hook berries because Razor does need a lot of those. Luckily for me though, I have pre-grinded all the wolf hook berries I would need so you guys don't have to worry about sitting through me mindlessly grinding wolf hook berries for an hour, so be happy about that. But the next thing we must do is we're going to actually have to start grinding his talent book materials because I am lacking on those. And something about Razor is that you have to upgrade all three of his talents. So you need a lot of books in order to do that. Now I have currently three teachings of resistance, 45 guides, and six philosophies. That's not enough. We need a lot more than that. Luckily, I do have a couple condensed in my inventory and I'm hoping that will be enough to get us all of Razor's talents upgraded. But let's head over to the domain and find out. Alrighty, we're back at this domain, the domain of the Frozen Abyss, my least favorite domain in the entire game, the freezing one. But luckily we do got a mono pyro team that I'm gonna use and hopefully this can carry us. I wish we could use Razor, but he is just not properly built yet. So instead I'm gonna use my Dia, Zhongling, Kazua, Bennett team, which annihilates this challenge for the most part. Let's go. I need my Razor materials, give them to me. Bennett burst, Zhongling, go, and Kazua. We're gonna group them all up. Never mind, everything's dead. I like that though, that's good. Get rid of a couple slimes. One and, oh gosh, it already dodged me, bang. The problem is once I run out of bursts, uh, I'm kind of just screwed because I don't have a way to break these guys' shields. Okay, never mind. We're still okay. Bang, bang, and now you are dead. Give me the gold. No, only blue. 
My goal for the Razor Talents is to get minimum 777 is kind of what I'm hoping. But if I can get higher, then I will. Because I want to try to build the best Razor possible. It's just I don't have all that much resin at the moment. And I'm trying to save for other things with my Fragile. So we'll see how far I can get my Razor. Luckily, Zhang Ling is destroying this domain. But these Icicles are also destroying me. So that's also happening. Gonna do big Kazuha Burst. There we go. Oh, we got the Deya burst up. Let's go. And you die, big bird. Ah, oh, still no gold. That's not good. We're going to need a lot of gold if we want to completely max out his talents. Bro, these icicles. Unfortunately, I didn't bring a shielder with me, so I have no way of really stopping them either. But luckily, Dia's interruption is actually really nice for this domain because it stops the icicles from interrupting when I'm doing my attacks. There we go. One dead. Little Abyss Mage is left. We got the jungling plus the Dia burst, and we melt him quickly, and the bird is dead. Please give me one gold this time. I just need one. No, I haven't got a single one so far. Okay, this should be our last domain run. A little bit longer to go, and then hopefully we can maybe get a single gold, because we haven't got a single one so far. Ow, ow, ow. Man, these freaking icicles, man. Okay. One single gold, or two, or three even if you feel like it. Actually, I don't think three is possible. Okay, we take one. We'll take one. That's not shabby. All right, that should be all the talent books we need. And now that we are done with that, we must head back to the Electro Hypostasis and kill it once again. I'm going to switch around my party. And this time, I'm 100% getting sub 30. I believe this time I will defeat it in less than 30 seconds. Just you watch. Here we go. Ah, ow. Throw your cubes at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do all that. But the, lucky I got Shenha burst. And then we do Ayaka burst. And now you die. Oh, I messed it up, didn't I? Yeah, I messed it up again. I should have done Shenha E before he goes into his little phase there. That's all right. Missed the sub 30 again. One day. All right. One, two three what an easy boss fight this time please give me three i beg give me three give me three give me three no two again oh whatever that's fine i just have to waste more resin it's okay you know what's funny is i actually one faced it on my last attempt when i was actually trying to pay attention well there we go this is the last fight we should have to do and now we officially have enough to fully upgrade our razor and we got a physical damage goblet, but it's trash. Unlucky. Though we do want a physical damage goblet for our razor. All right, now that we have everything that we need for a razor, why don't we start upgrading him? Now we have a lot of work to do for razor. He is low level right now. Level 60 does not cut it on my account. Min level 80. So let's take him all the way up to that level. Goodbye, EXP books. You all go to razor now. Oh, I'm never seeing those again. How do I not have the Ascension materials? Bro, these things again? How am I always missing Amethyst chunks? Every time. I know I have enough. Yes, I do. Bang, bang, bang. There we go. And now it's time for Razor level 80. Let's go. Ascend that physical damage bonus. We're going to need a lot of that for you because you're going to be doing mainly physical attacks. Man, you are drying me of my EXP books, though. I have nothing left after this. Well, there we go. Level 80 Razor. He's yawning as we ascend him. We also were able to get a single Acquaint Fate off of that to possibly get a 5-star. I do this every time I do a character review and they never give it to me. But today will be the day I get the 5. Okay. No, it's not. Anyways, now that we have a level 80 Razor, why don't we make, why don't we add him to the party? Let's go, Razor. Level 80 Razor, it's your Tom, buddy. Next thing we have to do for you is we have to actually try and build you properly. So we're going to have to find a good weapon for you. Now, I have a lot of weapons on my account. Not a lot of them are physical based. Like, for example, I haven't upgraded my Snow Tomb Star Silver, which I do want to do because this is a weapon I was thinking about using for Razor. I just know it, I know it's not the best one ever, but it's like a decent weapon overall, and it does have physical damage bonus, so it could possibly be a good razor weapon. The only problem is I can't grind these today, and I don't have any in my inventory either. I got 12 of the blacks, 7 of the brown, that's all I got. So instead, we're going to have to use a sub weapon right now, and I think the best option I have is going to be the Skyward Pride. This is an all-around good weapon for him. 
And this little bonus damage, the vacuum blade, actually scales off your physical damage. So this is a really good weapon for Razor, actually, and all physical characters, in fact. So we're going to use the Skyward Pride on him. It's R2, because I happen to get two of them, plus level 90, so this should be doing big, big damage. Next thing we're going to have to worry about is artifacts. And I feel like there's a pretty obvious artifact set for him. It's just trying to stack as much physical damage as possible with pale flame and bloodstained pieces. So let's try and find some good ones for him. In terms of flowers, I got one here with 16 crit rate. We will 100% take that crit rate. We're going to need that. Uh, we need one more pale flame though. And I think I'm going to take this one with uh, perfect sub stats. This one looks really, really nice for him. Next thing we're going to need is some blood stained pieces. That, that's also going to be super important. Let's take, I, th I think I'm probably going to need a crit rate mask. I definitely don't have a lot of crit rate. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need crit rate mask. That's going to be pretty important. Uh, but the thing is, I don't have a lot of crit damage either. So maybe we try crit damage mask and see if I can get enough crit rate. Because I think I also have a physical damage bonus goblet with a lot of crit rate. Uh, this one has 7 crit rate, 11 crit damage, uh, 21. I guess we can try this one. This looks pretty nice. And now we got the two piece, two piece. And now we just try to get as much crit rate as possible on our sands. Which doesn't look like it's going to happen because all our sands suck. Uh, maybe this one doesn't though. All right, let's see if that's enough. 61, 149, not terrible. It's not great, but luckily we do have 130 physical damage bonus, which is pretty nutty, plus 188 recharge. So we're going to get back his burst up on cooldown pretty fast. So that's going to be very, very nice. I think all these artifacts are decent enough. I don't think there's any like standout problems with his build. So overall, I'd say we built a pretty decent razor. Definitely not the best of the best, but I'd say it's decent enough. Now, the last thing we have to worry about is obviously his talents. And I already don't have the materials to do it. I forgot to grind hilly trail mats. Okay, one second. And now I have enough. Let's start upgrading his talents. All right, so it looks like we only have the gold books to take two of his talents level seven. And then we have to leave one at level six. So I think according to the talent reference, we're going to leave... Uh, the E at level 6, and we're going to take his normal attack and his burst both to level 7. And I think that's pretty decent. And because I have some constellations, these are actually 9 and 10, so it's actually a lot better than it looks. And overall, I think we built a pretty decent Razor. We got him C6, we got him a 2-piece Bloodstain, 2-piece Pale Flame. He has a decent ratio, good recharge. I'm looking forward to seeing what we're able to pull off with our new and improved Razor. Now, the next thing we have to do is build a team around him. Now, obviously, we're going to want to build a team around a physical unit. Now, now we have a couple of options here. We can either try to do something. We can either do something like an electro charge comp with somebody like Yaelon. And we can maybe pair him also with Zing Cho for double electro charge, which could be very, very powerful. Our other option is trying to main him in a physical build where we only worry about his attacks alone and we pair him with units like Yoon Jin and then probably also a Bennett would be good as well. So I think those are the two comps I want to try out. I think first of all, we're going to start with the physical comp. I'm going to pair him with Rosaria because Rosaria also decreases physical res and we'll do Razor, Yoon Jin, Rosaria, Bennett. Let's try it out. Let's see how much physical damage we can get off with our Razor. Why don't we head over and fight the Primo Geo Bishop. That big rock frog is about to get destroyed by my new physical team. I'm looking forward to this one. I wanna see how much damage we're able to do with just his physical attacks alone. I think these three are the best way to maximize a Razor's alone physical damage. So we're gonna see how much damage he's able to do. Uh, it seems like the rock frog is hydro today. That is fine, that is a dandy and good element for us to have we're gonna need to start charging up the burst that's gonna be our first priority is charging up burst and oh almost there and we got it okay we're gonna put down bennett burst rosaria burst you you let's go and we got a, all three stacks huge oh look at our physical damage i'm not even gonna dodge i don't need to dodge okay apparently i need to dodge well that's a little problematic maybe a shielder would have been a good decision today we were doing crazy damage until i died though all right, let's charge up our burst again. Now, please don't do that again. If you do it again, I just kind of die. So I'm going to wait till he does it so I can get all my burst off at once and just destroy him. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to run away. Okay, never mind. He still somehow caught me. That's fine. Bennett burst. Rosaria burst. You and you. Let's go. 
10k, 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 22k? No shot. Wait, let's do this. Bang. 19k. You're insane. He does like 21k average. That is nuts. Wait, I have to try that out again without dying. Razor's insane, man. I never knew how crazy he was. Razor's underestimated clearly because that was some nuts damage right there. Let's try it out against Masanori. Okay, there we go. I think we got everything up now. So let's put down this. This. Shoot, Rosario didn't get her burst. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, wait, I think we still got time. Bang. And now we go. Oh, oh my, wait, he's blocking. Stop blocking. Oh my gosh, that's fine. You're still dead. Even without the Bennett burst, I'm doing like 10k averages. 20k's. What are you doing? Stop blocking. 9k, 11k. That's with no help either. 10k averages with no supports is crazy. Unfortunately, he was blocking a lot of that time, so he didn't get a lot done, but that's still pretty good. And then 11k's on the, like, the charge Ds, that's not bad at all. Let's try this again. We're gonna try with no supports again. Let's see what we can average. So, 9, 6, 7, about 6, 7k averages. That's still not bad, though. That's still really, really solid. I would say overall, that was some really good Razor testing. There's one more comp I want to try out, though. We're going to try Razor, and then we're going to try pairing him in an Electro Charge comp with both Yelon and Zingcho. And then I guess for the last slot, we'll just do, like, Zhongli so that we don't die. And I want to try him with this Electro Charge comp. See what, how much damage on our Electro Charges that we can get off. Can, we, can I fight you again? Yes, let's have at it. Here we go. Okay, again, we got to charge up first. I should probably put up the Zhongli shield. That would help so that I don't die. Okay. You're almost done. Yelin got her burst. There we go. Okay. You. You. And now we go in. And we're getting everything off at once because Razor's burst attacks are actually normal attacks. Oh my gosh. He's already in his second phase. Wait, we might just, we might just kill him in one phase of the Razor burst. Wait, this is insane. And oh my gosh. <laughs> Razor's crazy. This is probably viable in the Spiral Abyss too, but I think that is going to be all for our Razor testing video today. I think we've proven how cracked Razor really is. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like these in the future, please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.